Mama gon' talk my shit, ayy Mama gon' walk my shit, ayy Mama gon' start just a hill quick Pick up all of some broken bricks Mama gon' walk my shit, ayy Mama gon' talk my shit, ayy Playin' that game for the love of it, yeah Soon as it's like I'm not fun in it, yeah As it was told, mama, you raised up a girl I know this shit's getting deep, I wanna roll I just feel leaving my show Came in the club with some tricks, I feel like a tank She wanna join the ranks, first she can get on her knees I'm too wavy, I'm too wavy, yeah What's up, guys, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> so today is a video on my final thoughts on this hair and my final review. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, please do so. That is my initial thoughts and also the install for this hair and how I styled it. Um, once again, this is the All Love Hair. All Love, they have their own website. They also have... Um, they hair on AliExpress, DHgate, etc. And they sent me the, um, this is a lace, 4x4 lace front wig. Um, and the inch is a 22 inch. And this is the deep wave texture. And as of right now, there is no product in this hair. This is after I co-wash the hair and just let it air dry. There is absolutely nothing in this hair. So this is its absolute natural state. So yeah, but first and foremost, before I get started, make sure y'all like and subscribe to this video and show some love. <laughs> so yes, disclaimer. I just want to put it out there that whatever hair review I do for any company, whether I pay my own hardworking coins for the hair or if I am getting paid to do a review on it. I promise and y'all deserve to know the honest and absolute truth. I am going to tell y'all the honest and absolute truth on how I feel and my experience with the hair that I wore on my head. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there because I do want to say, and I don't have to say this, but this is a paid review. So yes, I did get paid to do these videos, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to lie about the hair or whatever it might be just because i'm getting paid that doesn't mean a thing because like i said if you haven't watched my last video on my thoughts on some hair um the video was the watercolor method using the electric lime and the emerald adore colors if you haven't already checked that video out go ahead and check that video out right now after you click this video and click off this video head over to that video and yeah so just had to put that out there. I'm going to tell y'all the honest truth because y'all deserve to know. And I'm sorry to keep ranting around about this, but um, I mean, I done had experiences with some bad hair, and it really made me feel even worse after I dug and dig on research and reviews on hair and still got some bad hair. And mainly every time I got some bad hair, it was from AliExpress. So it was like I understand, like, I get it. You want to know the truth. Like, I done watched so many videos and people say, oh, it's good hair. Oh, you should buy it. It's the best hair ever. And it be trash. I'm just trying to flex on these hoes. <laughs> but I can't. And that is the most aggravating thing because hair is not cheap. Most of the time you spend at least $150 and up on some hair that you think is good. But it turns out to not be good. And then it's saying, you know, you're spending more money on hair and more. And y'all know the cycle. So, yeah. I just had to put that out there. So, let's jump right into it. So, my thoughts on this hair. The first couple of days wearing this hair, it was amazing. Okay. So, and I'll try to make this video as short as possible because I can talk a lot. <laughs> so, this hair, the first couple of days it was amazing like it was so effortless i really was trying to find things about this hair that i did not like and it was really hard it may have been one thing that was really minor but finding negative things about this hair it was really hard i really couldn't find anything um i want to say the first couple of days i had this hair in and also just to add to before i begin 
and this is not a wig that I'm taking off my head and then putting it back on. Like this is constantly on my head. This hair is glued down. It still is glued down from my initial install, which I'm about to take it off now. It's been about three weeks now. So it's time for this hair, this wig to come off and for my scalp to get a nice good cleanse. So yeah, this hair was amazing. Um, the only thing I can say about this hair that I didn't really care for was that it was a little bit more shedding than what I expected it to be because this is not a really tight curl. This is more of a wave. It has a curl to it. It's not like a loose wave, but it's a wave. You feel me? So it still curls there. Um, so I didn't expect it to like really, you know, shed like normal curly hair sheds but it wasn't crazy like my last video i did on with the watercolor method it wasn't crazy shedding like that so don't get me wrong but that's the only negative thing i could really find that's me searching for something negative you feel me so this hair was so effortless like when i wake up in the morning i want i'm brushing because i'm always i'm not a morning person i'm, I'm ready to get up do something real simple to my hair and run out the door so this is that type of hair. When I wake up in the morning, literally all I have to do is spray some water on it with my misting bottle and um, brush through it a little bit or with my wire tooth comb and literally walk out the door. Now, hold that thought. Okay, so literally these are the only products I use on this hair this entire time wearing it, this entire three weeks. When I co-wash the hair, which I only co-wash the hair every three days, I use this in the hair. I basically, I shower, I'll put this in my hair. Um, I'll eat like a little bit, literally a little bit, it's that good. A dime size amount of my hand, rub it through the hair, comb through it my wire to comb, put in a little ponytail, continue my shower, and then rinse it out. And basically let it air dry and this is how it looks after doing that that's all i've done with this hair and as far as products this hair doesn't really need product and that's an, an amazing thing like i never had curly hair that doesn't really need product i don't have to put anything in this hair but when i do put something in this hair um i use just a tiny bit literally a quarter size of the Cantu, the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream. And I don't use a whole lot, just literally a, a quarter size. Um, I damp the hair down a little bit, put a quarter size on my hand, and just brush through it. That's it. Now, to add on to that, um, when I wake up in the morning and I do my hair and brush my hair, that is literally the only time I have to brush my hair or run a comb through my hair. And again, I am amazed at that because I've never had curly hair where I only have to brush my hair one time. And along with that, I wear a small purse, so a brush this size is not gonna fit in my purse. So the fact that I don't have to carry a brush with me, that is a plus. Like you all, all up here, y'all gained some points for me. Okay. So yeah, this has been the most effortless hair I've ever had ever in life. <laughs> so yeah, moving on. Um, as far as tangling, the hair does not tangle really at all. Like I said, I only run the brush through the hair one time. So when I do get some tangling, again, I'm not constantly brushing the hair throughout the day. So you're going to get a little bit of tangling and that is completely normal. If I did get some tangling, it was from maybe just a tiny bit in the nape of the head. And like I said, that's normal. I'm not brushing my hair through the day. And then of course, I'm gonna get tangling if I'm constantly, you know, moving my head, doing this, doing what, that. Bitch? What, bitch? What? What? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna get something at nape, that's normal. You can't complain about every little thing. That is completely normal. So yeah. Um, what else? This hair, um, it doesn't frizz up. Um, it does grow. It does get bigger, you know, as it dry. And this is how, this is completely dry now. 
it might be 10% damp, but this is basically completely dry. So it does swell up when it's wet. It's really, really, really thin. Um, another minor con about this hair is that I really do wish it was a little bit more thicker. The density on this wig is 150% density, which is pretty decent, but if I wear curly hair, I want it to be a little bit more thicker. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it to be thin. But that's not really a con. That's more like a, what I prefer. So yeah, um, as far as the quality, this is some really good quality. If I was to rate this hair from a scale of 1 to 10, I would say maybe an 8.5. I wouldn't give it a complete 10, but I'll say a good 8.5. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really don't have nothing bad to say about the hair, and that's really sad because, you know what I'm saying? Like, the reviews be good when you have something good good to say, but it be also good when you have something bad to say because people want to know the bad. But I'm glad this hair didn't really give me any problems. I also want to point, point out that if a hair vendor send me some hair, they, they got to be confident because if I send a product that I want somebody to review, I have to have complete confidence that my product is good and it works. And that's one thing about this vendor. When we was going back and forth emailing, um, they reached out to me to review this hair. Um, I agreed to review it. They told me what they wanted and what they expected. Basically two videos and a couple Instagram posts. I was like, cool. But I let them know ahead of time. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give an honest review. Like I understand you're asking for a review, review, but my review is going to be honest whether I'm getting paid or not. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the people wants to know. They want, y'all want to know the honest truth. And I get it. I understand. I would want to know the honest truth also. And they responded back to me basically saying that they are confident in their product. And they com they're confident that their hair is good and very good quality. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's go for it. So yeah, the working with the company, it was really easy. They did follow up with me pretty often so that's a great thing they they they're good at following up they're good at customer service i got the hair they shipped out the hair the hair literally came in like two days like everything about the experience with this hair working with the company styling the hair everything was just pretty easy and easy flow so that is my final thoughts on this i hope you all enjoyed the video would I recommend this hair? Yes, I will recommend this hair. So go ahead and get you some. This hair is pretty cheap. It's not going to break your pocket. Stay tuned for my next video. I have something very, very, very important to tell y'all in my next video. I have a surprise. And also, I'm about to switch things up a little bit. I have a bomb style. <laughs> I have a bomb style that I'm ready to show y'all and post. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye guys.